Cautious optimism, that is the sense you get from people like Amanda. She's one of those who's been out there throughout these demonstrations, nearly two weeks, saying here we are not done, but that the resignation, the Prime Minister offering his resignation, was a significant moment for them. So let's just show you the videos she's been sending to me here from central Beirut. This is the atmosphere, the atmosphere Tuesday night. It's almost like a party atmosphere you can see there. There's music, people standing around eating, chatting, laughing. These scenes from central Beirut a world away from some of the scenes we had seen earlier in Tuesday prior to that resignation. Let's just give you a sense. Um, this video here sent to us by uh, Timur. He's a journalist showing you here tents on fire. This is in an area called Martyrs Square where there have been a lot of previously peaceful demonstrations. Well, we know, according to him and others, that demonstrators shouting pro Hezbollah and Amal slogans as a political groups, of course, in the country had basically driven their way in with um, batons, hitting people and setting fire to the tents. So if I can just show you this one here, this video, I think summing up the initial uh, overwhelm that was experienced by the emergency forces, a policeman there just chucking away a plastic bottle in an attempt to put out the fires. We also saw the army surrounding demonstrators trying to keep them away from the counter demonstrators. So why are the protesters back? Why have they gone back to this square, put the tents back up as we are seeing um, standing around? Here you go, another video here from Timor, mirroring those we saw from Amanda. Why is this movement ongoing even if the Prime Minister has resigned? Well, one of those who gave us a sense of the distrust that still lingers is Ayman. He says it was too little too late from the Prime Minister and he also said to me he's worried there could be political games at play. We know very well that the current political class can play so many tricks. So it's very important to remain vigilant, to remain on the street. Now the prime minister has resigned. The demand is for a swift establishment of a small a government of experts, government of people who have absolutely no corruption suspicion around them in order to conduct key reforms. So while the prime minister may have offered his resignation, there's a real sense from people like Amanda, those demonstrators still on the streets, yes, in a jubilant mood, but a real cautious optimism looking ahead. And they're certainly not going anywhere at this stage.